welcome back to Red Ted Art. Yes, it's Red This Journal time again. Now, there's two ways you can join in. One is you do the challenge that I do each week at home. We do it in a plain notebook or in a Red This Journal. The other way is that you pick at the end of the video which challenge I'm going to be doing next. And guess what? You guys always seem to be picking the hardest ones. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, come on then, let's wreck this journal. Okay, so I've decided to do this page first and it's an experiment, <laughs> so who knows how it will turn out. Uh, I'm taking my own advice and I put a little bit of plastic on the back so as to protect the pages. And the first thing I want to do is I want to paint this whole page yellow. I'm going to then let it dry and do the other page. dry now and uh, like I said this is an experiment so let's see how it turns out Now, do you remember these? I'm going to recycle my little bees. So this is my friend's doodle by Sarah. Check out how to draw it up there. There you go. Glue, staple these pages together. I've turned it into a little sunflower. Right, let's see what you guys challenged me to do next. Right, for the next challenge, what did you guys pick? You picked right with a pen in your mouth. Oh, this is gonna be really, really hard. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Let's see. Now, um, I decided the easiest way would actually be to use shorter pens. I think longer pens are harder, so if you're gonna have a go at this, uh, do have a go. <laughs> but the shorter they are, the, the better. Um, be careful though, because it's tricky, so let's see. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Al. Hmm, not too bad. You'll see it in a minute. Let's do another word. Whew. Makes my head neck hurt. Okay, here we go. run out of ink even worse <laughs> okay and one more let's see uh, let's see what word you'll see them in a minute done but I need to still turn this into something so come on then let's get to the next bit and see what we turn this writing into next so this was my effort chill happy this was supposed to be relaxed but you can't see it very well because my pen ran out of ink so now we're going to turn it into um, speech bubble art so I'm going to do a big oval this one I'm going to maybe do like the kind of powy. I 
and then like a square one here. There we go. Next, just to kind of like lift it a bit, I want to um, add a kind of little bit of outline to my speech bubbles. Kind of, kind of make it a bit 3D. Oops. And then, just to kind of really bring this page together, I'm going to use some watercolours. You don't have to use watercolours, of course, you can just leave it the way it is, or you can use pens. And I'm just going to give the whole background one consistent colour, and I think I'm going to go for orange. Um, I keep changing my mind. I thought I was going to do blue, <laughs> and then I thought I was going to do yellow, and now I think I'm going to do orange. And I've learned, remember, from my previous mistakes, I'm going to put a sheet behind to protect the other pages. So let's do orange and see what it looks like. There we go, finished. So I'm gonna let that dry now and then once it's dry, Let's move on and take a look at next week's challenge. So, what's it going to be next week? Will it be? I know. Oh, try and freeze this page. Will it be right carelessly now? Will it be make a paper chain? Or will it be wrap something with this page? Now, remember you choose what I do next. So remember the eye poll in the corner up here or comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next week. Take care, bye.